a farewell to London by Alexander Pope in the year 1715. One dear, damned, distracting town, farewell. Thy fools no more all tease. This year in peace, ye critics, dwell, ye harlots, sleep at ease. Too soft be. S and rough C. S, adieu. Earl Warwick, make your moan, the lively H. K and you may knock up whores alone. Three to drinkin'. Droll be row aloud till the third watchman's toll. Let Jervis gratis paint, and Frau to save threepence in his soul. Four farewell, are Buffnet's raillery on every learns sought. And Garth, the best good Christian he, although he knows it not. Five Lintot, farewell. Thy bard must go. Farewell, unhappy Tonson. Heaven gives thee for thy loss. Of Roe, lean Phillips and fat Johnson. Six why should I stay? Both parties rage. My vixen mistress squalls. The wits in envious feuds engage. And Homer, damn him. Calls. Seven the love of arts lies cold and dead in Halifax's urn, and not one muse of all he fed has yet the grace to mourn. Eight my friends, by turns, my friends. Confound, betray, and are betrayed. Poor Y, R sold for fifty pounds, and B, LL is a jade. Nine why make I friendships with the great, when I no favor seek. Or follow girls seven hours and eight. I need but once a week. Ten still idle, with a busy air, deep whimsies to contrive. The gayest valetudinaire, most thinking rake. Alive. Eleven solicitous for others' ends, though fond of dear repose. Careless or drowsy with my friends. And frolic with my foes. Twelve luxurious lobster nights, farewell, for sober studious days. And Burlington's delicious meal, for salads, tarts, and peas. Thirteen adieu to all but gay alone, whose soul, sincere and free, loves all. Mankind, but flatters none, and so may starve with me.